All right, we've heard um, of a high, pl uh, high speed police chase, but what about this one? A slow speed police chase. That's exactly Indeed. what unfolded across the Queensland New South Wales border, leaving onlookers absolutely baffled. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on here? What the f <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> no way. What the f is going on here? <laughs> Are you serious? What is going on there? That was a tradie and his apprentice mm -hmm. filming as they drove past police in the slow pursuit of a stolen Mercedes with a teenager hanging out the sunroof. This, unfortunately, does get serious. Uh, joining us now at Gold Coast is the tradie who saw it all unfold and former detective and criminologist uh, Dr Terry Goldsworthy to explain what happened. Uh, Pete, to you first of all, mate, what did you see, what did you hear and what did you think? <laughs> Yeah, no, it was pretty crazy, mate. We were, it's pretty unexpected, actually. We were just leaving work. And I seen a couple of cop cars flying up our ass, and I seen the copper on the southbound laying out the spikes up around Byron. And then, um, yeah, as we got down towards Pottsville, the, um, the highway was actually closed on the northbound. And then, um, yeah, we went off the highway up over the exit, but then we ended up going back down on the highway. So basically one of the only cars on the highway. And then uh, we had seen the, I actually thought the southbound was just a closed highway as well because the car was actually going so slow. But um, yeah, it was just that some bloke sitting on the roof, acting crazy, tapping away. Yeah, it was a pretty, wow. bit of a shock actually, but we were obviously um, on the northbound doing 100 k's, so there's not much we could have really seen, but yeah. <laughs> were you going 100 k's or a bit faster? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no one's watching, no, to be honest. Yeah, we'll do a speed limit. <laughs> um, well, I'll come back no, to you. I'm actually probably going a little bit slower to be honest, so watch it. It's quite the sight. We'll come back to you in a second, uh, but let's bring in uh, Dr Terry Goldsworthy. The big question, why did it unfold that way? Yeah, morning, Carl. Look, I mean, it was realistically, it was like watching a promo for the world's dumbest criminals. You know, you've got the <laughs> 10 cars behind them, and then you've got uh, they're actually videotaping the alleged offence themselves just oh. to make sure in case the police aren't watching them. Um, you look, there was an alleged home invasion up in Brisbane. Um, uh, they were chased away. One was allegedly armed with a machete. Uh, two of them got in a car and pole air followed them, they crossed the border and then New South Wales police commenced their pursuit. I mean, look, these happen from time to time. When I was in the police, you have these slow speed pursuits. They're a bit like watching the grass grow for the police as they go along behind them. And it's quite awkward because you have the lights and sirens going. And as you saw, the bypassers were all laughing, looking at you. But, um, you know, nonetheless, it was a allegedly stolen vehicle. They had to use the tyre spikes. There's always an element of danger in that. And yet again, it's a bit like Groundhog Day in Queensland. You wake up, another home invasion, another stolen car, youth offenders. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? I mean, we are seeing crime on the rise in Queensland, across the country, really. But as we're seeing now with this example, it, it is there is a serious side to this and people could seriously become hurt. Well, there is serious side. I mean, the social media aspect is interesting. I yeah. mean, if you look at their commentary on social media that was available, they're, they're like an influencer. And you get other people out there who go, oh, look at the notoriety they got. Let's do the same thing. Mm. Let's jump on a bonnet of the car, the roof. Uh, you fall off at 40 k's an hour or 30 k's an hour. When your head hits the bitumen, that's when you get an acquired brain injury and die. So it's quite dangerous. The machete uh, in the house owner, we've had, just had recently uh, a lady uh, allegedly murdered by two people who are armed with knives. So, you know, it, it's problematic. And in Queensland here, we now know that young people on bail, 53% yeah. of them reoffend on bail. Mm. And we know 7% of those people, uh, the young people on bail, commit an offence that involves serious uh, injury or death. And that's just a figure we can't accept anymore. They don't care. Um, uh, Pete, how would you handle that side of the issue? Do we want to know? Yeah, no, they need a little bit more than a slap on a wrist, I reckon. <laughs> there you go. It's straight from the word of mouth from the tradie. Good on you guys. Something mm -hmm. needs to be done. Um, appreciate you being on the show. Well, still to come, mission of a lifetime. The best